Hey guys, what's happening? DX Porker here with you. I'm going to uh, show you a new gun I picked up last weekend at the gun show. Uh, as you can tell by the box, it's another Glock. I'll tell you a little story behind it. I've been thinking about getting into some competitive shooting. And nothing wrong with uh, the Glock 19 that I carry daily. Just wanted to, to be more competitive, so I was looking for more towards a competition gun. Went to that gun show, had a little booze selling some of my odds and ends, and lo and behold, a dealer set up behind me and had exactly what I was looking for. I've been considering doing some IDPA and possibly some GSSF competition this summer. Uh, these guys come in once a year to neighboring counties, and thought I'd jump in there and just, you know, get familiar with it, start competing a little bit, so... Been looking for a Glock 34, and as luck would have it, it was on allocation, just like what I went through with the Ruger. So I got a little aggravated at first, and went ahead and I, I bought another gun, actually. I, I haven't showed you guys yet. Do a video on it in a couple days. But when I went to the gun show three days later, there this was, so I couldn't, couldn't pass it up, so I went ahead and got it. As you can probably guess, it's the, the Glock 34. It's a Gen 4. It's the competition model. Compensated. This gun's got a really good purchase on it. I really, really like the Gen 4's frame. That uh, RTF grips, they feel really good. I can get a good purchase on the gun. Now, I really didn't have a big problem with the Generation 3, uh, but the grips are beefy. And the good thing about the Gen 4's is they come with the, the back straps. You can switch out to whatever size makes you the most comfortable. I like it the way it came. I assume that that's probably the small. Uh, I kind of dig that. It comes with the uh, stock sights, as you can tell. However, they are adjustable. So that's a plus. I'm not going to do a really in-depth review of it because there's so many out there that can topple anything I can do. Just tell you a little bit about the gun. It's got a four and a half pound trigger. Of course, it's compensated. It is empty. It's got the extended mag release and the extended slide release. It feels really, really good in the hands. Comes with three 17 round magazines. Of course, the cleaning kit and all that hoopla. But uh, like I said, the gun feels really, really good. Gonna be going to the range here a little bit. Hopefully, we'll be able to roll in some footage here, show you how she shoots her first shots. Got a really good deal on it, couldn't pass it up, been wanting it. Of course, I'd already spent the money, but I sacrificed a little bit more just to go ahead and bring this gun home. Uh, it's got a really, really long barrel. It's uh, like seven, seven and a half inches maybe, almost 7.6, somewhere along in there. So, you know, this gun's set up for competition, and I really can't wait to get started with it. Uh, I've actually picked up some steel targets from Arts and Targets. I haven't done a video on that yet either, but had a little bit of bad luck or range after 45 years shut down. Left a couple thousand members high and dry with nowhere to shoot. So I don't have a whole lot of options right now. Don't know anybody with any property willing to give it up to let us shoot at it. Can't quite get 166 yards away from my residence or my in-law's residence to shoot, so I ain't got a lot of choices. I'm either going to have to break the law or drive for hours to for a place to shoot. So. I'm more than likely going to break the law and shoot on my own property. Uh, the furthest I can get away is about 80 yards. I'm on pretty good terms with all law enforcement DNR, so I don't anticipate any problems with it. But I don't want to drag this on too long, but there you have it. Just wanted to show you and give you first looks at my Glock 34 Generation 4. Roll in some range footage. Hopefully get some more videos out on the other new purchase and those arts and targets. First shots with the Glock 34 Gen 4, liking it pretty good. Shoot to the left just a little bit, so I adjusted that. Hopefully we find it out and we'll be shooting at the bottom line now.
Okay, all in all, not too bad. That group right there was the first group. That group was the second group. Start adjusting a little bit. That was the third group. That was the fourth group. And then I moved the target. Those were all at seven yards. Then I moved the target out to 25, and I just swung those down there. So not got a lot of adjustment. 25 yards, but all in all, extremely tickled with the Glock 34. Might be able to do some competing yet. Thanks for watching. Yeah, okay.